three sons, three little sons. Oliver is eight. Christopher is six today. Today's his birthday, so happy birthday, son. Thank you, thank you. He's going to love that. And Landon is two. Um, I was having a problem, though. I was having a problem. You know, I love them so much, and so when these problems come up, you just you want to solve them immediately. And in my family, something came up. And it wasn't sex, drugs, rock and roll, not just yet, anyway. <laughs> um, but it was screen time, right? Video game screen time. Have any of you experienced this, right? I mean, you know, a typical evening, which I, you really wanted to be relaxing, you know, a little zen, was like, not now, no, shut the computer, come to the table, it's time for dinner, Stop fighting with your brother. Oh, this is not what I was looking for, right? I wanted a little bit of peace. I wanted to be able to spend time with my kids. And I wasn't getting it. So I needed to find out a way to deal with this. I needed a solution, and I needed it right now. So I looked back. I, looked, I guess I looked at what I do. I sort of reached in to what I do every day. And I looked into how I build tokenized economies. And I thought, maybe there's an idea in there. So I set my children down. And I said, kids, I've, I've got something here. I've got this. You can see that. It's, it's a tiny little gold-ish plastic gold doubloon. I ordered these off the internet. I got a whole bag full. And I said, that is worth 15 minutes of game time. But then I needed a database, right? Because I got to store this all somewhere. And so I went to the kitchen <laughs> and I got cups, plastic cups, three different colors. And I made a green one for Oliver, an orange one for Christopher, and I put a red one next to the television, and I said, I'm going to put 10 of these screen time tokens in your cups. Each of you will get five. That's an hour and 15 minutes of screen time a day that you're going to get to play. And you get to pick, right? You get to pick what you play and when you play it. And that's every morning. The tokens will just be there. And that's pretty much it. I thought, that's enough. I'll, I'll, I'll try that, and we'll see what happens. Well, we cut it loose, and it didn't take very long to figure out that we might have left out a couple of things. So we sat back down a couple of days later, and I said, well, that was interesting. We learned something. What did we learn? We learned that there's not going to be any more screen time outside of the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Marathon sessions at 4.30 in the morning while we're all asleep to go first. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, who knew? Um, you know, I said, you can't spend your screen time tokens at meal time. We have to eat. And this is important to us, to eat together as a family. It's a real work to eat together as a family. We need to do that. The tokens are going to reset every single morning. Remember that. And you must use the timer, you see. What I didn't say was 15 minutes. I gave each kid a timer. They put the token in the in the cup, in the red cup, they set the timer and they go. When it goes off, they stop. Or they put another token. It reminds me of video games when I was a kid. So this was version one. And it was, it was, it was okay, right? At this point, it was working. Uh, but then, <laughs> as you might guess, some other things started to happen that we didn't foresee. We'll call those the incidents. So these incidents started to arise that would further shape our system. The first one is really interesting because when people do good, you want to reward them. I noticed that the kids, each individual child, Oliver and Christopher, they weren't just playing for 75 minutes, which was what I had anticipated, right? They were playing for almost 150 minutes each when I audited the system to see how much they were playing each day. You see, we can audit easily. It's an open system. The cups are there, the tokens are there, the screen is there, the timers are there. We can see everything. This is really important. 
but what was going on? I said, well, I'll take a look. So I watch, and I see Christopher walk over to the cup. He's just really cute when he does this. He, he takes a token out of his cup. He drops it in the red cup. He sets the timer, walks back to the couch, sits down, hands a second controller to his brother. <laughs> Smart, right? He doubled the value of his tokens. <laughs> I, he's five at this time. He's six today. So I said, okay, well, guys, it's great. I'm actually really proud of you for hacking the system. Uh, but maybe we need to dial this back a little bit. So what are we going to do? So this was one of our first really meaningful talks about what was going on. And we said, well, you know, we, we tried two or three different things. How are we going to dial this back without really punishing them for sharing effectively, right? I mean, that was good. Doesn't always happen. So what we came up with was, okay, well, you can spend half your tokens, half the tokens you have in your cup on any given day. You can spend them on other people, right? Give them a controller and dole it out. Great. New policy. This is an economic policy, right? That's kind of interesting. They don't think of it that way, but that's okay. And we set it loose again. <laughs> and we wait and we see what happens. A couple of days go by. Things seem to be going okay. And then it wasn't. Again, it was totally broken. And I didn't, I couldn't quite see what was going on this time. I was observing that it felt to me. I didn't know. I needed data. It felt to me like they were playing too long again. The game times were going on and on and on, and I couldn't see why. So I said, well, I'll just watch. And I went back in there to audit the system. I saw Oliver take a token out of his cup, go over, drop it in the red cup, set the timer, and this time, I'm not smarter, I set my timer, <laughs> and I walked away. I went and did some dishes in this case. But then my timer went off. It's buzzing. I walk back in. I look at the timer, right, just like... It still has like 10 minutes on it. It's been 15 minutes, and I know we didn't build a time machine. So what happened? I look at him and say, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you, we have a rule. Respect the time. Use the time. He says, Dad, well, you know, when the game's loading, I stop the timer. When we switch games, I stop the timer. When, you're, when my brother stands in front of me, I stop the timer. I'm like, my gosh, it's stopped more than it's going. So this is not what we really wanted. <laughs> And, and, and this is more serious, right? This, this incident is corruption, right? <laughs> it's corruption in the system, just like in governments and bad companies and everything. So I said, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to be mean. I'm going to have to take this away. And I did. I shut the games off. I took the cups. I took the tokens. I shut it down. I said, if you want to play now, you're going to ask me. This is not what I want, trust me. But this is what I put back in place. And so the next couple of days of life were less than fun. <laughs> but this made us learn. Scarcity can do that. Dinner, about two nights later, Oliver leans over to me. Very serious. Dad, we need to talk. I'm like... <laughs> whoa, <laughs> what is this? Are you okay? Is something happened at school? Are you, eh, you know, I don't know what's going on. And he says, no, no, I just, Christopher and, I, Christopher and I have been talking and we want our tokens back. <laughs> I said, well, Christopher, is this, is this true? You, you and your brother have been talking? You want your tokens? He's like, yeah, I, we had a conversation. We elected him to talk to you to ask to get the tokens back. So now we have legislation or something in the house. And I just didn't expect that. But you know, this is great. I was like, I was pretty blown away, actually, at this point. And so I said to them, well, why do you want them back? And this is what was outstanding. They said, we, we, we feel like we lost our rights. <laughs> <laughs> our right to choose, our right to play, our right to not have to ask you if we want to play. And I said, well, that's amazing. I said, well, but, but I can't just turn it back on. You cheated. And they said, well, what, what, what do we have to do? And so we made a few new policies. Yeah. So the system's getting interesting now. So if you cheat, if you lie, if you steal, these are just good things about being a human, right? Uh, you're going to lose a token. And you're going to lose it right now. And if you don't have any more left today, I'm taking it from tomorrow. But then the big one was, if you go over or if you cheat the time, I'm going to take all your tokens for the next day. 
And if I find you playing video games the next day, which did happen, I'm going to take a whole week's worth. You're not going to see the video games for a while. Whoa. But they agreed. We did this together at dinner. It was amazing. Put the system back in place. This was fantastic. Because you see something interesting here is that these tokenized economies, when you build them right, when you build the right incentives, the right fiscal and monetary policies, they incentivize good behavior. They disincentivize bad behavior. And we were optimizing for allocation of time. I was no longer the time police. I was no longer the screen token police. Neither was my wife. She was thankful at this point, too. And I think most astounding of all of this is that my children are now, they've sort of transcended digital natives. They're token economy natives. They, they intrinsically understand tokenomics. This is something that we barely understand, all right? So it's, 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 it's wonderful. And I have to share with you that I set, I set a purpose for myself. You heard my earliest version of it just a moment ago. Back in 2015, in a particularly difficult business moment, I said, I'm not doing this anymore. It's terrible. I've been an entrepreneur like six times. And I said, if I'm going to build this technology again, I'm going to build it to empower humanity with technology. Not doing it if it's not for that. Because I found myself in an interesting space. And this, in the context of screen time tokens in my house, just made me realize we can't be scared of all of this technology. We can't be like a, an ostrich and stick our heads in the sand and pretend like it's not going on all around us. Right? We have to stand up we have to open our arms, and we have to embrace the change. All of it, from biotechnology to information technology. We have to at least try. And if we can do that, there's tremendous promise, so much hope for the future of humanity, because we need this technology. We've become part it and it part us. And so... I think that's important, and I think my children are walking away with just a little bit of that from this little system, this experiment we've run. So closing, I really want to say thank you to all of you, right? Because you gave me today a token of your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. In return, you get a token of my appreciation and my deep love for my family, for my children, for the hopes that I have for them, the dreams. And with that, I'll end. Thank you.